In this Photoshop tutorial, let's take a look at how to change the user interface color and also a few other interface options. First things first, you have your canvas here, which is usually a background of white or transparent, which will show the transparent background. However, outside of it, you can have this extra space and you can change the color of that really easily by right clicking on it. So we can make it black or we can make it a light gray, for instance, just by clicking that. So that's one object, but your interface as a whole can be changed and we would go up to Photoshop settings. On PC, you're gonna to go to edit down to preferences or settings. Inside of here, we'll just go to general first, but inside of here, you'll have an interface section. So if you open up preferences, you'll be on general. On the left-hand side, there's a tab for interface. Inside of interface, we can change the color theme. We can go completely dark, we can go completely light, which is back in time a little, you know, things used to look like this back in the day. I like somewhere in between, but a little bit darker. So I like this medium dark. You can adjust the highlight color mode from default to kind of match the interface or just blue. There's also a neutral color mode. And then you have some other options here with colors of the interface, whether it's, um, you know, changing the color of elements of the interface, but not the colors on the image or color utilities. So like standard screen mode, we can adjust what that looks like, full screen, you know, you have your different modes where you have your full screen mode, your full screen with menus, and you can change the color interface for those. You can also adjust the artboards, which we don't have any artboards set up right now, but you can adjust artboards and the border to those artboards. And then as far as presentation goes, you have the font, the UI font size and scale UI to font. Now I will say I keep this at large, but I think my user interface could be even larger. I think the Photoshop interface doesn't scale quite as much as something like InDesign or Illustrator do. At the very bottom, show channels and color, dynamic color sliders, show menu colors. You have a couple options there. I think the biggest one here though is the color theme and whether or not you want total dark mode, a light mode, or somewhere in between with this medium dark mode. That's what I have and that is how you can change your interface color here in Photoshop.